Pickens County is growing fast, like most of the upstate. Leaders there want to make sure they have some say in how they grow. Our Chloe Salsameda explains. Over the next several months, Pickens County Council plans to come up with new guidelines for how townhomes, apartments, and other types of housing can be built. Some council members say these guidelines are needed because the county is growing so quickly. Pickens County Council has imposed a six-month moratorium on applications for new multifamily residential developments. That means new townhomes, apartments, tiny homes or RV parks cannot be built unless their applications were submitted before the moratorium was adopted. County Council adopted the moratorium at this month's meeting, saying it needed to be done due to, quote, unexpected and uncontrolled growth. We want to pump the brakes on growth because we're growing exponentially. Council Vice Chairman Roy Costner pushed for apartments, tiny homes and RV parks to be included in the moratorium. He says over the next several months, Council will come up with standards that developers must follow when building these types of housing units. What are the setbacks going to be? How much open space is there going to be? Are we going to account for the parking? Although the moratorium was adopted, one council member voted against it. Council member Clairborn Linville says she worries that the moratorium will affect people in need of affordable housing. I am concerned that all the things you pulled out are affordable homes. So we are delaying even more the building of homes that lots of people need. So if you choose, these are all the, the ones that, that there is a waiting list that is overflowing of people need these homes. I don't think that Pickens County is going to be able to solve the problem for affordable housing, but I think there are some things that we can do to incentivize those opportunities for a developer to come in and give those types of attainable housing. The moratorium is scheduled to be in place for the next six months, but if council members can come up with guidelines before then, the moratorium can be lifted. In Pickens County, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.